It's been so nice traveling this year, even though we've done the same travel before, like four years ago, we're trying to make it very different by stopping at new places. Like the last two days we've been in Athens, which was a bit of a random stop, that I, it looked like there was some really nice architecture and building, and so we just decided to stop, spend the night, and then spend two nights, just exploring, working on some projects. There's been so many of these new areas along the trip or explored in a different way. With having kids, we've been going to different areas that have playgrounds for coral, for example. So it's just been a really good journey, even though we've done it before. It doesn't feel like we've done it before. Driving is interesting. This little one cannot be left alone. And those gums, man. He's, he's got some teeth under those gums. Bite hard. But yeah, he's rolling around like crazy. So we really can't leave him alone anymore. Uh, at least not unless it's, he's in his little crib. I, I really didn't think I would get just as much enjoyment out of having my kids on board and it, getting to show them the different things that I enjoy. So soon, anyway. I, I knew I would get that enjoyment one day, but I didn't think with Coral being two and Kai being four months that I'd be able to truly say that I'm just ecstatic to have them on board and experience these things with them. Uh, from Coral being super excited with the lighthouse to Kai just Knowing that Kai is going to one day be just like Coral and just super stoked to see the next cool thing And I'm just absolutely so grateful to be doing this with them and have my family with me on this journey It's wonderful Kind of interesting upgrading to a whole new vessel with all different features. I mean, a new vessel to us is, of course, very different than what our old vessel was after owning it for four years. Um, we knew the ins and outs of Wildly Intrepid One, everything about it, and this vessel is very much different because we don't know almost anything until we start digging into it and figuring things out. But a few things after cruising for. A decent while now. How many months is it? A month and a half. It feels like so much longer already. A month and a half of cruising. A few things that I'm so grateful for and don't know how I lived without are the cockpit we are currently in. Having a complete enclosure here is just, it's such a game changer with two little ones and even just for us, like in the mornings when it's freezing cold outside, it's still nice and cozy inside the cockpit if the sun's out. It's a, a complete game changer overall. Uh, we see people that I mean, I feel for them because I used to be them and essentially out in the cold with all bundled up in so many layers just trying to stay warm while navigating down the, well now we're going down the Hudson, but at the time the Erie Canal and it's just been amazing. Another thing that I really didn't expect to enjoy as much is having hot water on board when we're running the engine. Here is that beautiful sound of engine. Well, I don't really like it, but that means there's hot water, which means I'm going to take a shower for the very first time in our boat. But it's a bit of a mess. I mean, I cleared it pretty soon, but I still got to take a few things out to take my shower. Ah, shower in the boat. Even just having hot water to do dishes, wash your hands, all the simple little, little things that we didn't have before are really really making it all worthwhile. I could get used to this. This is such luxury. An actual standalone shower oh, and hot water. Come on. Life doesn't get any better. The center cockpit, another example of, of something that's a huge improvement in my opinion for a few different reasons. We have all of this area in the back to kind of throw stuff when 
we're not really organized and we still got to get going. Being more centered means we don't get as much uh, spray as far as like we're, we're just in a better position overall uh, for sailing I feel like and it doesn't feel like as big of a boat I still feel like I'm driving something you know in the 30s rather than in the 40s because I'm so much more forward and I can kind of not forget about but not worry as much about my stern so that's yeah, been really great I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I could break to pieces and be left alone once more if you hadn't been so patient you'd be easy to ignore you put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore and now I stand here calling at your door oh now I stand here calling at your door yeah I'm yours anywhere you want yeah I'm yours and now we're singing Well, interesting parking of the boats. We had just enough space for us in Nantes, but we pulled it off and now we are docked at Old Savannah in Kingston. Really exciting. There's a little over 20 miles today. Now we get a free dock. Well, free. We got to go eat at the restaurant, but then we have a beautiful free dock in calm water. Let's go check out town. Right? Big jump! Okay, hold that hand. What? Mythic Burger? I must be in New York. Oh my god, there's a skelet! But it flipped over and sent a boy. Beautiful. There's only two ducks? Three! I think there's more. Try counting them. Five ducks! Oui. Wow! It smelled way too good. We had to come in to try it out. You're doing great. Just walked out of Half Moon Roundout coffee shop and the donuts are fresh, exquisite. They're so good. And it's a recipe from 1757 from General Montcalm. Pretty amazing. running the states and the provinces. Today I almost
almost feel like we're doing a cruise down the Rhine River in Germany. There's like castle looking buildings on the side. And we're gonna be sleeping beside a castle tonight. Corey is driving like a drunk man. There's so much debris in the water, it's incredible. I have all those big floods and stuff in New York just bringing everything down with it. Shower, little man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Oh. <laughs> One miles and we made it it's like the ruins of the abandoned castle of Bannerman Pulepel Island no idea if I'm pronouncing that one right but it's beautiful there's ruins on one side there's big mountains on the other side it looks amazing a little bit of a shallow spot right 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 behind us and maybe loose mud because the anchor was dragged a little bit then quite set and then sunk in and set a bit better so it might not be the best holding. It's coming for very calm weather, so we'll have to wait and see. Well, I'm kind of excited. This is the first time we get to drop this dinghy since 
we got on the Erie Canal, which has been a while now. So let's get this sucker in the water. We don't have davits yet, so we have to use a halyard and then drop the engine on. But hey, can't have everything perfect right from the start, right? We gotta improve some things. Going to Pelope Island! First thing adventure in the US. It's been a while. It's really exciting. The water's so dirty, you can't yeah. <laughs> Cora wants to go fast. Hey, I'm running bitch. On our way to Bannerman Castle. Woo! Wow, this is beautiful. Bannerman's Island. It really feels like we are cruising in Germany right now. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> well, a bit of a bummer. We are not allowed on the island due to safety reasons, which I do kind of understand. It looks like half the wall is being held by those huge arms. So yeah, it's probably a valid reason to not be hanging out here. But they do offer tours as well, Saturdays and Sundays. But we are Thursday. Oh well. Enjoy it from the shoreline. What is that? Me. You guys going that way as well? Yeah. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh wow, you have a good one for real. Wow. A lot of carmarans, looks like. Unfortunately, you can't see it very well with a GoPro. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I'm soaking it all in. It feels like we're really cruising. tricky. Shore access is not necessarily intuitive around here <laughs> but this is beautiful. Look at these cliffs. We're trying to figure out a way to get around these cliffs. There's, there's a cool trail that we'd love to do by the looks of it that goes all the way up here but let's turn around here before we get too shallow. You can't see anything in the water up to like a foot so it's a little tricky navigating around here. Um, you just gotta hope and uh, use your your charts but anyway um yeah we're hoping to get up here somewhere we just can't find where we're gonna do it So much bush, we gotta get up and over. I don't know. Those are kind of cool. I wish there was a gap in there to go right <laughs> Thank you. 
I was trying to sleep. <laughs> She's repositioned herself because she wasn't on me anymore. <laughs> 